It's time for a midweek pick-me-up. Grab a freshly brewed bean to cup crazy good coffee. Build your best blend and customize with our wide variety of creamers and toppings. Get what you need to get back on track today. Wherever you're headed in Atlanta, Racetrack's here for whatever gets you going. And you'll be here before you know it. We're never far away. You'll find us just off Atlanta Highway. Racetrack. Whatever gets you going. What does it take to run a small business? Heart, smarts, and the nerve to risk it all in the face of adversity. Listen to The Unshakables, the new podcast now available from Chase for Business and iHeart. It features real stories from real small business owners who take you through the turmoil, triumphs, and quick turns that help their businesses break through. Learn more at chase.com slash business slash podcast. Chase, make more of what's yours. Chase Mobile app is available for select mobile devices. Message and data rates may apply. J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member FDIC. Copyright 2024. J.P. Morgan Chase and Company. Jermaine, were you surprised? I mean, let's go back to when you, you, know, you signed here and the weeks following. Were you surprised that your personality was kind of embraced by this fan base so quickly? And did you set out to make sure that people knew who you were and how happy you were to be here? Um, it was a little surprising, but I know how big this fan base is, but that's just me, honestly. I just, I've been myself this entire time, this entire process. Um, that's one thing I truly believe in. If you're yourself and, you know, you just show people who you really are, then hopefully people just follow that and really like your personality. So everything y'all have seen, you know, when I signed here with the past couple of weeks, just having fun, just being good. That's just who I am and how I was raised and how I like to be. When you uh, signed here, we talked, you didn't know where you were going to play. You said, you know, wherever. Mm -hmm. Like, how did playing guard come to be? Like, what were those conversations like? Yeah, I mean, that was just one of the openings they needed. And me being as flexible as I've been over my career, kind of just fell into it. You know, I started at left guard a couple games throughout my career. When I was in Baltimore, before I got traded to New England, I was actually slated to start. And I was starting left guard in Baltimore um, the entire offseason. So, you know, it's, it's nothing I'm not familiar with. And if you watch my career over the last seven years, you've seen I started left guard, left tackle, right guard, and right tackle, so I can do it all. And, you know, I just want to be out there. And as long as I'm out there, I'm going to give it everything I've got. Jermaine, you, you, you had a lot of success <clears throat> with Calm. Mm -hmm. What makes him such a good coach? Um, he just believes in the technique, and he knows how to make a successful offensive line. Like, you look at the offensive lines we've had the last two years, I think we've been really good because of his coaching and the schematic side, you know. It's easy to go out there and just try to block a three tech, but if you know how to do it and the best way to do it, and then also how the play that you have is gonna affect your block, that is what separates the good from the grace. And Carm does a really good job of putting his guys in the right place at the right time. So that's how you open up holes for the running backs and you know, give the quarterback time to throw the ball down the field. Going back, Without to traditional flexibility, flexibility which do you have a preference? What was that? Sorry, what was it? Going back to the positional flexibility, do you have a preference? No, I just want to start. I just want to be out there. You know, my entire career, those first five years, if you look back, I was in and out of the starting lineup trying to figure out how to be an NFL player. And now that I've got a taste of being a starter, I just want to be out there. I don't care where it is. Jimmy, how, how would you characterize the right back line? What was that? How would you characterize the offensive line right now? This is a fun group, you know, for me, Going on, what is this? I don't need, I don't count some teams. I, this is my fourth team, in my opinion. I've been blessed to be in a lot of great offensive line rooms, and this one is, it falls right into that. You know, we have AT, Easy, Ev, Ryan, Schmitty, um, Marcus, Stinney, Marcellus, Jake, um, Aaron, like um, Jimmy. Like, we have so many great guys in that room and a bunch of different personalities. But, and like, I feel like the offensive line room is the best room in the NFL just because it doesn't matter who you are or where you've been. As soon as you get in the old line room, it's just, you're one big family and, you know, everyone's goofy and funny. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. Going back to positional flexibility one more time. Are you, are we, we see you, you're a left guard mm -hmm. pretty much every time we've been here. Do you still take snaps sometimes at right go, at right tackle? And it, is it a big deal if you have to make that switch because you're on the other side and then, you know, obviously your footwork out is able to change? So. Um, you know, I played right tackle mainly for the last two years, and so I was able, able to hone in on that and really craft my technique and get it to where I wanted to be and where I was comfortable at. And so now that I'm moving to left guard, I'd rather just stay there and really hone that position and, you know, perfect that. And 
I feel like just what I've learned and what I've been through in the NFL, right tackle, it shouldn't be hard if I ever had to go out there. But I trust the guys in the line from the tackles that, you know, I believe in them and I know what they're capable of. And that's why I've been able to stay left guard and let them ball out um, outside there. Jermaine, it was obviously a priority of the organization to supplement the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Where do you think your groups made the biggest strides during this portion of the NFL schedule? I think just technique as a whole. You know, you, if you go out there, I actually I take that back, confidence. I think confidence is being a big thing. Like easy going out there, a tackle going against them, um, cave on and burns every day. You know, some, sometimes you're gonna lose a rep, but it's how you come back from that rep and you learn and don't make the same mistake twice. And he's been killing that. AT, Schmitty, you know, you can see all these guys getting caught more and more confident. And that's really dope to see because as offensive linemen, one of the biggest factors in being a great player is confidence. Like you have to be able to go out there on third and long and know what it's gonna take in order to get your job done. And I, you know, the way the O line is going right now, the confidence is growing and it's really cool to see and be a part of that. Have you won your share of battles though against those defensive guys? Oh, I'm trying. Guys? I mean, Dex is a hell of a freaking player. That's a big boy. So, you know, it's definitely a learning process for me, but I'm having a lot of fun. This is probably the most fun I've had in my career during yeah. off season. So, really? you know, I just, this is just a really Just the camaraderie? Season. Yeah, the camaraderie and just how fun it is playing with these guys, you know, and everyone has a bubbly personality and, you know, everyone's smiling, just being out here, just loving playing this game. And it's really cool to see. Is that unique? I wouldn't say it's unique. I would say it's more so, you know, it's just nice. It's just a nice thing to see. You know, this game isn't supposed to be so serious. It's a child's game, and you're getting paid to do it, and you should be having fun doing it. And you know, I haven't seen one guy not smiling out there every single day, and the energy is contagious, and you know, it's really inspiring. You said Which now you bounce, more? How you bounce around, but the last two years in practice, did you take reps at guard or were you like pretty much exclusively a tackle? With the Raiders? Yeah. No, I stayed at ta I stayed at tackle, but you know, actually I'll take that back. Those times where I played multiple positions in practice, just, you know, because I was capable of doing it. That's what I really pride myself on, being able to play all the position on the offensive line other than center, because I'm not doing that. Awesome. That's, that's something. Jermaine Whip. With your journey as a player uh -huh. and the ups and downs, I mean, I'm sure there were times where you had doubts and whether or not you were going to be able to get to this point, let alone mm -hmm. where you were last year, and then finally stabilizing as a player. What kind of lessons can you bring to that table? Because you have some young guys, like you said, on this team that you know have gone through it the last mm -hmm. couple of years in terms of confidence and lack thereof. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you look back at my past career, confidence was something I really struggled with. You know, there was a time in my rookie year where I started two games in a row, but I didn't do enough to, you know, stick. And then I got traded to New England, and then I was in Miami for a stint, and I ended up getting cut. And that week, I thought my career was done. Um, and then, you know, the Raiders took a chance on me. And then, you know, there was a time where I didn't get signed, and I didn't know if the team wanted me. And then, luckily, you know, the Raiders wanted me back, and I kind of knew. I mean, if you look back at what I said, look, like two years ago, I was like, that was it for me. You know, I didn't know if another team was going to take a chance on me, and I had, it was all or nothing. And I really wanted to be a great player in this league, and I know I'm capable of doing that. And so I just had to put my head down and just work. And, you know, being around a guy like Max Crosby in um, Las Vegas really changed my career, in my opinion, because he's just balls to the wall, he's going to work hard. Like, no one that works there, man. He is the hardest worker I've ever been around, and that inspired me. And so now I'm at the point of my career where, you know, I'm finally – on the road to the player I want to become. I'm not there yet. I'm nowhere near that player, but I'm becoming that player more and more every single day. And, you know, if I can go out there and, and help these young guys become the player I know they're capable of being too, that's, that's dope for me. And so that's just what I want to be and who I want to be. And, you know, just show guys that it doesn't matter where you're at right now. You know, if you keep working and put your head down, then you know, the sky's the limit. When you're training on your own in the next six weeks, will you just be focusing on left guard? Because that's the position. Yeah, I trust um, Ev at right tackle. You know, I think, like I said, confidence is a big thing. And all I'm trying to do is pump confidence into him because I know what he's capable of. And I know the type of player he can be. And I'm really excited to see that come out. Zero Foxtrot isn't just a brand. It's a way of life. Founded and operated by veterans, Zero Foxtrot's unique apparel and gear echoes the grit of the warrior culture. Zero Foxtrot dedicates itself to producing content, honoring the sacrifices of forgotten heroes of the past, and connecting history to the present. Embark on a journey with Zero Foxtrot today at ZeroFoxtrot.com. It's not merely our products. It's about the ethos that we embody. Rugged, resilient, and timeless. The journey to a smoke-free future can be a long and winding road. But if you're ready for a change, consider taking Zen for a spin. Zen Nicotine Pouches offer a fresh way to discover your nicotine satisfaction. Anywhere, anytime. No smoke. 
no spit, and no lingering odor. Get in gear with the Zen 10 Challenge and enjoy 10 smoke-free, spit-free days for just $5.95. Order online and start your new journey today. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical.